one of the new goats is making noise this morning. They're usually not noisy in the morning. I wonder if something's up. What's the matter? Ah, oh, you don't got any hay in your feeder, do you, inside? You want some fresh hay, don't you? <laughs> that was the issue. Good morning. Good morning, Caleb. Zeke. Yep, their hay feeder's empty. Willow, hey, what are you doing? Ready right for the milk in the stand. I see you got an apple. Come on. So an apple you had to have there, Willow? You girls are making a mess with your feeder. We're gonna have to make a modification to that. All of the helpers are tired today. We've had our nephews up for the week and they're tired this morning. They wanted to sleep in. Uh, we got delivery yesterday of our woodshed from JamaicaCottageShops.com. I'll have a link to that in the description down below, guys. There's a 10% off coupon code if you want to purchase anything from this site. That's gonna be the building project today. We get to stop laying the foundation. And I did just order <laughs> a video trail camera. <laughs> so not only can we get photos of what's going on, we're gonna have video too. Got you some kelp mail for the animals. We found a local store in town. We can get two bags for the price of one almost, as what it would cost to order it online and get shipped to the house. Just for the shipping, yeah. Right. So we basically same stuff, same stuff, and it's actually cheaper per bag at the feed store than it is online. And then once you include shipping, we got two bags for the price of one. I'm telling you, the best coffee right here. Hmm. Free range, delicious. All right, I also picked up some more structural screws for the woodshed. Did you eat your Wheaties this morning? You had a burrito, that might work. You wanna try lifting them without using the tractor? Okay. Worst case scenario, we'll grab the tractor. Can you do it? You wanna get the forks on the tractor? All right. If you wanna bring the tractor to the outdoor kitchen, I'll get the forks. Tilt your bucket. Just hit walk your end this way. It's not, I'm gonna hold my end. You do your end that way. Lower it down. I'm gonna slide your way, watch out.
see if we can roll it. There we go. Perfect. So it's... Yeah, but I think we're gonna be better off putting this one over there. Huh? Yeah, we can just see if we can... This one's gonna be the front one. And then this will be the side one right here. So I don't know if we can. Hold on. Watch your fingers. I don't want to pinch your fingers. We gotta get some tarps to put down first, and then we'll put the six by sixes down. All right, let's see here. Right here. A lot of the plastic covering from all the other kits. All right, let's put down some vapor barriers where the shed's going to go. Found one more. I wonder if this is the stuff left over that I used to go under the barn. I bet it is. Or greenhouse the greenhouse plastic. All right, so now we gotta figure out how far out we want the building to go. So with this maple tree, do you want to, I think it should stick out just to here. So when I'm plowing, I can plow all the snow this way. All right, you want to come over here? We'll slide this off. I want to keep it going just like this. We're just going to slide it straight. So 12 feet is right to here. Boom. Okay, let's do the same thing down here. Feet is right here. Boom, I think that's good. I'm just trying to make sure we like the way the shed is positioned before we start going any further. Because now is the time to change it if we want to do anything different. I think that's pretty good right there. Oh, 
We didn't. All right, let's get this side squared off. So I need you to take your corner and go that way a little bit. A little more. Perfect, right there. It's nice and square. We'll flip it over, then we're gonna have to slide this one underneath over here. Let's check this one. So yeah, this one's gonna come up just like that front one. So we'll get this one elevated up here. Then once we got this all elevated to where we need it, we'll fill it with dirt. Gotta come in a smidge. Yeah. Yes, we'll trim the plastic. How's that? Perfect. Perfect, awesome. All right, we can pin a couple of the corners so they don't move, but we can still adjust them. One nice long one, dead center. Bam. Thank you. It's an L for alumna. What's that? It's an L for alumna. I like it. So, I mean, that's come out just here. What's that? Tanner a bath. Tanner a bath? Yeah. Pluto's giving him a dust bath. And mom, did you see his nose yesterday? Oh, good. Ah! That's a long spring. Six inches. <laughs> What's that? I said are you gonna keep the tag on? Yep. Now we can set that last post in. All right, let me walk this end over where you are. Watch your tootsies. Boom, I'll grab this one. If you want to stay on that end, we'll roll it after we get it close. All right, yep. Don't put your finger underneath, let me do it. There we go. There we go. It's really almost What's that? Perfect. Looks good to me. Sweet. Now we are. Okay, I want you to hold this right here, okay, right in that corner. Yep. And I gotta go where Davin is. And I gotta check, no, I gotta see what the, I'm checking to see what the measurement is. So we're 23 feet, three feet, 23 feet, three inches and a half. Okay, Olivia, go do the same thing on that corner. And this will tell us overall if we're square. You right on the corner? Um, yeah, 23, three and a half. 23, three and five eighths, so we're eighth of an inch off. That's, you may roll it up now. You're not hot in that sweatshirt? Crazy hair, farm hair. 
farm here don't care. You're not hot? No, oh. I'm hot like this. It is. Down that far? Right all the way through. If you put your hand down there, you can feel it. Check this for level. It's a little high on that corner. Let's try that. Watch your fingers. That seems to have done it.
compacting and CrossFit all at the same time. And a ride. And a ride. Look at that. I like it. You guys did a good job. This way when we're working and building, we're working in more of a level area. We're not falling over and twist, twisting our ankle. Good afternoon, mo modern homesteaders. Well, look at this. It's my beautiful artwork. It is Al Lumna from Lumna Acres. It's beautiful. Respects him. I'm sure we're going to have quite a few people asking why we put the vapor barrier down and why we're doing a gravel foundation floor for the firewood post and beam shed we're building. So we did the vapor barrier so that way it'll keep the ground moisture out of the gravel. And I did a gravel floor. This way it'll pack. It'll be nice. And I don't have to worry about the gravel rotting where we're going to be stacking firewood on it all the time. I didn't want to have a wood floor and have to worry about the floor rotting out on me. And if we did pressure treat it, that's just that much more of an expense. So we omitted the floor when we ordered the kit and we're building it the way we're building it for that reason. And then, like I said, the vapor barrier is to keep the ground moisture from coming up out of the ground constantly. So once the gravel dries out, which will probably take, I don't know, a month or so, maybe a couple more, a couple of months to dry out, we won't be getting any of the ground moisture up into the firewood. Well, this is the last video that our nephews are going to be in. I had such a good time when they were up visiting. We all did. They were a great help. So thank you, guys. I'm sure you're watching the video. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a true blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next one at Lumna Acres.